I'm Wolf McNally for Blockchain Commons. In the world of technology, hashing is a technique used to reduce a file or other data of any size to a much smaller yet unique string of numbers called a digest. Digests are often thought of like fingerprints. Just like every individual has unique fingerprints, unique input data generates a unique digest. And changing even a single bit of the input generates a completely different digest. But for humans, reliably recognizing the strings of numbers produced by hashing to ensure they are truly identical can be tedious. Humans are much better at seeing and comparing pictures of varying visual attributes like size, shape, contrast, and color. Turning a digest into a visually recognizable picture is called visual hashing. LifeHash is a method of hash visualization that creates beautiful icons that are deterministic yet distinct and unique given the input data. To start, we use the SHA-256 hashing algorithm to make a digest of the input data. This gives us 256 pseudo-random bits that are deterministic depending on the input data. We arrange these bits in a 16 by 16 grid and use this as the initial state for running the algorithm known as Conway's Game of Life. Conway's Game of Life is well known to many who have studied computer science. It is a set of surprisingly simple rules for evolving a matrix of dots such that it simulates, in many ways, the progression of living organisms. It's known for creating an almost organic complexity from some of the simplest starting points. Like hashing, the Game of Life is very sensitive to initial conditions. Starting from one field of random dots is going to give you a very different evolutionary history from starting with another, even only slightly different one. Also, like hashing, the game of life is deterministic. If you put exactly the same thing in, you always get exactly the same thing out. We use our 16 by 16 seed to play Conway's game of life until the pattern stabilizes or repeats. This gives us a unique history of the seed's evolution that is much more than just the pattern we end up with. Some of the bits of the initial digest are then used to apply symmetry and color to the icon. Adding symmetry and color makes the resulting images both more recognizable and more beautiful. Using Conway's Game of Life adds a kind of organic visual structure to the resulting image, even though the digest we started with was essentially random. Here's a more detailed breakdown of how LifeHash works. At the top of this slide, we take the SHA-256 digest of an input string. This gives us a very long integer, which we turn into a sequence of 256 bits. We then partition this sequence into 16 16-bit lists and display the result as an array of pixels. This is our seed, or initial state. Now we run Conway's Game of Life on the seed. At the top, you see the seed and the first three generations of evolution it produces. Below, you see the entire evolutionary sequence of the seed shown as an animation. We kept track of every frame in the animation you just saw, and when we show them on top of each other in 3D, you get an image like you see on the left. When we composite them on top of each other and color the oldest generation's lightest and the most recent generation's darkest, we get the grayscale image you see on the right. Here, we're taking some small sequential integers and running them through this algorithm. As you can see, although each integer may vary from its neighbors by just a single bit, the resulting image is strikingly different. This final grayscale composite is even more unique because it doesn't represent any single state of the pattern's evolution, but all of them at once. Now we use some of the bits of the original digest to pick between two symmetries and four classic color schemes used by artists, and to pick the specific colors within those color schemes. The actual color palettes shown here are just a few possibilities among billions. The result is that when you put in any data, from a name, a license plate number, or a Bitcoin address, to a multi-megabyte downloaded file, LifeHash gives you a recognizable and beautiful work of digital art that uniquely represents the input. LifeHash is open source software, and we look forward to seeing it everywhere. Here you see the same LifeHash algorithm running on a desktop technical computation system and a mobile device. Notice that the same input on either system gives you back exactly the same life hash. Any software that deals with strings of unique identifiers, like this Bitcoin wallet, can use life hash to make it easy for users to recognize those identifiers at a glance, increasing both usability and security. Get the code for life hash on GitHub. 
We hope you'll consider supporting our efforts by adopting LifeHash in your own software, translating it to other languages and platforms, and helping us improve it for the whole community.